everybody, what's going on? Jerome here along with Ryan, and we're here with the Jerome and Ryan Show. Because we're not good at coming up with show names. Jerome, isn't that right? That's right. But we're getting Ryan, good at this. One thing we are good at coming up with is our sponsor, Troll Pack. We do like to come up with our sponsor, Troll Pack. Yes. The day pack. And who are we going to throw it at today? I don't know. We've run out of people and things to throw it at. And, uh, oh, look at that. Baby in the stroller. Ooh. Wow. You nailed it. Baby. Wow. I didn't even know what you said at first, but midway through, I saw the stroller and I saw the baby. Get yours at trollpack.com for funny prank items, yeah. and we could deliver one to your house because we're still doing that. Yeah, we are still doing that, but, I mean, do you know strollers moved like that? I don't know how the baby was going by itself. There's no one pushing it. So that was a little, bit, a little, a little strange. Bit but anyways, for that transition, today we're going to be talking all about Call of Duty. You that's get, right. You get it? The baby in the stroller? Because that's a I very, got it. Yeah, everyone gets it because it doesn't make any sense. But we are talking about Call of Duty today. One of my greatest and most nostalgic pastimes. Well, I think sure. for most of us it was. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, I mean, I grew up playing Call of Duty along with a few other franchises, but Call of Duty was always there for at least the past 10, 11, 12. What's your story with Call of Duty? I want to hear it. My story, like how I got started? Yeah, how'd you get started in Call of Duty? Honestly, funny story. And my friend That's hilarious! Me. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, my dog died at the end of that story. <laughs> Oh my god, that's even more funny. Are you kidding me? This is the most hilarious story I've ever seen. Bird. Yeah, yeah, you can. Jerome's gone, everybody. I'll be taking over the show. So I'm very hyper today, Jerome. Can you tell? Tonight. Today? Tonight? What time is it? Where am I? Why'd you drug me? Thank you, Dondo. Thanks, Alex. All right. But in all seriousness, though, my, my funny story about how I got into Call of Duty was a story of how I didn't get into Call of Duty. So everyone was yelling at me going, Jerome, play COD 4, play COD 4. And I'm just like, all right, I'll give it a try. So I got the game, Fair. literally got it like a month or two after my friends did, played it for all of a couple days and went, wow, I hate this game. Really? <laughs> and put it down and never touched a single Call of Duty after World at War, COD 4, swore off and played Halo 3, and then Modern Warfare 2 came out. And I realized I can noob tube AT4 and C4 and then one man army and get everything again? You're literally the person that I hate in that game. I know. You're that, everyone, that's what got me oh hooked on Call gosh. of Duty. It was just was that. just like murking people and making well, them really frustrated. Well, that was the best part, is it wasn't like the... I, I didn't care about killing or anything like that. I just loved trolling. So I would shoot noob tubes in AT4. Troll pack! Yeah, troll pack! But no, I'd literally just... Say I go to search and destroy... Oh, you could shoot final noob, kill across cam. map noob tubes you're talking about. I knew well, those that, spots. I, no, I wasn't good at that, but oh, I, would, I, could do that. I would try and final kill cam in the funniest ways possible. So I would like suicide C4, like I'd AT4, and, I, and the guy would be like, wow, you think you're so good? I'd be like, no scope, baby! And you know what I mean? Just fire because it was a no scope. I mean, they couldn't object. There really, I, there was I guess, no scope fair on enough. That. Yeah. So you just really like to troll people in that. Yeah. And then uh, Black Ops came out. And I loved zombies. So I said, wow, I regret not playing World at War. Uh, got into zombies. Then and Black then did Ops you two, post? When did you? What did you post to YouTube? All of this? A lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. Zombies. Because that's trolling. what I did also. Yeah. I was trolling Modern Warfare Two. Uh, just fun playing with friends while I was really bad and zombies. Gotcha. And that's my story. Oh, then Black Ops Two came out, and I said, wow. How do they ruin such an amazing thing with zombies? And I quit again. That's Until Black enough. Ops 3 for like three games. I literally quit for three games. And I, I came back with Black Ops 3 just for zombies. Because it's kind of yeah, reminiscent it's fun. of Black yeah, Ops 1. Yeah, I think one. so. Yeah. I think um, the competitive play is, is over for me too at this point. But uh, Ryan, what is your Call of Duty story? My Call of Duty story is this. Is as goes. Is as is goes. Is as went, but now is going in story Oh, God, form. ghosts. So... I uh, went over to my buddy's house. Um, I played Counter-Strike, first-person shooter on PC prior to Xbox 360 cam coming out. Once Xbox 360 came out, my buddies had it. They had Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, the first one, so Call of Duty 4. Okay. I went over there, and I played, and it was just... I was very uh, aware of my surroundings from the Counter-Strike skills transition very well to the Call of Duty world, and I destroyed everyone because Counter-Strike was a little bit harder, to yeah. be honest. Wait, actually, a lot harder. Um, so I started destroying people. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get an Xbox tonight. Started playing Call of Duty 4. Loved it. Um, just excelled at it. Just destroyed everybody. And then, uh, Modern Warfare 2 was awesome. Black Ops 1 was awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, then I started posting YouTube uh, YouTube videos in Modern Warfare 2. That was my first YouTube video. And, uh, I think, well, okay. I think the first one was, I did an all 
That was creepy. As that well. was really creepy. We didn't. No one touched the troll pack, but for some reason, it just m- jumped out of nowhere. I think it's mad at us for throwing so, it at people <clears throat> and things. My first video I did, I ended up getting. My friends were like, "You gotta do YouTube." This is how I started YouTube. Even they're like, "You gotta do YouTube." I'm like, "This is crazy. You're getting nukes." And, and, then, all that. and, then, and then you plugged in the mic, guys. I haven't even talked to the mic yet. Yeah, exactly. There and you go. They just knew it. And they, they just knew it. it was it was love at first sight. But then I got a knife only nuke. Yeah, and then I started getting triple nukes in one game, and oh, I was absurd. I was absurd, and then I was really good at zombies. They called me Zombie Man in college, and that's like are you the serious? Game. Yeah, yeah I swear, I can't make man? this up. Zombie Man, they, they're like they would people would come into the dorm and like all their friends would watch me play because I and I'm sure they got you all this. the girls. Say hi, I'm Zombie Man. <laughs> hi, I'm Zombie Man. <laughs> Sit down with them next to them in class. <laughs> Thank goodness I had a girlfriend. Hi, I'm at Alyssa. The time. What's your name? I'm Zombie Man. <laughs> But yeah, it's all transition, and then I did play a ton of zombies, and then I got really, really sick at uh, at the zombies, and I uh, started learning all their little inside okay, stuff. Okay, so, so you I was the like one who chaining them. And... So if you guys go look up any like Black Ops zombies videos, a lot of them are gonna be mine for and sure. Mitch, because... Mitch was really good at uh, he had a strategy to get to level fifty plus on Kino Der Toten. Yeah, yeah. So he knew like all those. Yeah, tricks. I could get to sixty plus. So I'm better than Mitch. Well, I got to eighty. Well, I got to Minus 95. Minus like 50 something levels. No, it was just a time. It became a matter of time at that point. Yeah. But I love that game. It's well, great. Call of Duty's enough. awesome. Call of Duty's how I built my, so my franchise. So if I can ask then at the end of the day, Ryan, favorite Call of Duty game, what would you choose? Mm, oh. Yeah. Modern Warfare 2. Well. Jesus Christ. That was the weirdest thing I think you've ever done in this entire show. That was. I got excited because the cameraman was doing funny faces. So I was like, oh. How's the bagel, Alex? Pretty good. He's eating a bagel. He's also uh, he's also a food tester now. We've got our production manager, food, food tester. tester, everything. Um, the same. Modern Warfare 2. Oh, no. Jeez, that's not tough. Not MW2. MW2 had Spec Ops, which was fun. That yeah, was cool. I'm not a fan of that. I was I was competitive. Are you talking about zombies? Because obviously zombies is is way better than you spec can ops. you can count zombies as part of the game. So I'm gonna go with my favorite Treyarch one is Black Ops, and my favorite Infinity Ward one is Modern Warfare Two. Modern Warfare One's good too, though. I don't know, but the it's, earlier ones for sure. The earlier ones. It's funny you mention that because exactly pick. how I feel. I feel Treyarch nailed it with Black Ops One. Uh, and then after that, I, I really feel like Infinity Ward kind of nailed it with Modern Warfare 2. Right. But if I had to choose one overall, Modern Warfare 2, because I used to, I, I literally, like Black Ops, I'd play zombies with friends and have a lot of fun. Modern Warfare 2, that was a game where like I'd hop in with friends for literally like four or five hours on a school night till like three in the morning and just yeah, play Search it, it and is. Destroy. Yeah, and yeah, Search and Destroy was, and it's so intense. Yeah, uh, that was. Uh, and that was back in the good old days. You so know, Modern when you think Warfare the good old, do, good old days, you think like Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 and Halo 3. But because what happened, and I, you know, this is just kind of like my opinion, is they were pressured like can you imagine the pressure of those companies so they go from one game and they're like oh this is awesome but then the uh the consumer us are who are, who are buying the game we're like okay well we want to see new stuff but then if they put too much new stuff in then, then it becomes bad. Ba- a bad game but then if it's, they don't do enough then it's the same game so people get mad so you literally i feel bad for almost for the call of duty franchise what? not actually because they make a <laughs> sh- ton of money but <laughs> Really, like the pressure there, oh, and there's, must there, I mean, it must be immense. The the COD community definitely it has voiced their opinions on a lot yes. of things. Well, Ryan, it's funny that you mention all these things about like, like how they have to add or it's sorry about more that. futuristic. It's more futuristic, and how they keep adding too much, which is why I loaded in Black Ops Three, kind of to get your opinion on have they crossed the line yet i mean okay. we have jetpacks and i don't know I, I played riding. it a little bit and i know a little bit oh yeah jetpacks we'll, wall riding cool special like perks i mean we're talking weird things all right well I'll, i'm gonna uh, let's do it let's jump right into it so stick with us everybody we're gonna go into call of duty black ops 3 black ops 3 baby to discover if it has crossed that line or not let us know in the comment section down below i'm curious to see what you say hey what's up guys alex here the producer of the show and editor so unfortunately oh, we lost the audio for this clip specifically i am the one playing right now uh don't do that well and we had drum and ryan going over the footage saying what they thought of the changes from world at war and forward so i'm just gonna give my opinion as 
Theirs was a bit, uh, a bit biased towards the older games as they are very old men and they can enjoy new games. So right off the bat we can see that the change of, obviously the graphics are a lot better. The new, uh, I don't even know, the, like the thrusting of the rockets, uh, I don't know what the, it's called, it's called something. I haven't played this game as like much as I should. Um, as you can tell I'm still getting used to the controls, this is on PS4. Um, so we've got the wall running as well, and there's new specific specialist classes, and of course the new weapons. So the major difference I can see from these games going from Ghost to Advanced Warfare to obviously Black Ops 3 is that it's much more faster paced. If you remember correctly, if you've ever played World of War, that back then it was very slow. You even had tanks that you could go in, and the gameplay was extremely... Like, the maps were gigantic, and you can... It's almost like Battlefield, kind of, in, a, in like a way. There was a lot of strategy going into that. But now, you have people just running around and getting tons of kills because this game is super fast-paced. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a bad example, because right now I'm lagging, and I can't find any player. Oh, I, got, I got one person there. Um... So that's World of War, and obviously COD 4 was sort of similar, it got a little faster, you had players, you know, learning how to, you know, we had the no scopes and all that fun stuff starting to come in with the YouTube, like YouTube era of Call of Duty, I'd like to say. And so we had Call of Duty 4 come in after World of War, and it was a huge change because it was Treyarch who created the game and not, um, Activision. I think Activision was the one that made World of War. Um, I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, I'm not a Call of Duty expert, but then after Call of Duty 4, we had, um, Black Ops? No, we had Modern Warfare 2, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken, don't, don't quote me on that. That was a great grenade toss. Um, so Modern Warfare 2 changed the entire game. It was probably my favorite Call of Duty right off the bat. The campaign was amazing. Usually you don't get that with a lot of Call of Duty games. I haven't played any of the Call of Duty campaigns since um, Black Ops. Um, yeah, so it was Modern Warfare 2, then Black Ops. Okay, I goofed. <laughs> but Modern Warfare 2, it had Spec Ops, so you could play with your friends, and also the multiplayer was amazing. So everything was pretty balanced besides the fact that you had noob tubing and all that other fun stuff. But the multiplayer was super fun, the maps were re remarkable and rem like so memorable. And it was just the time where like mini games were starting to become a thing where you do like Michael Myers, you do all this like no scoping contests with your friends. And that's when YouTube started to really pick up with like FaZe Clan and you know montages and Call of Duty commentaries uh, started to pick up. So that was always interesting to see. Black Ops obviously had zombies come in which was pretty pretty huge because zombies became a pretty big community in a sense in the YouTube era and obviously the multiplayer was great as well and then I think Black Ops 2 and forward is when games started Call of Duty started to get some flack because it didn't please the gaming community quote unquote you can't really please anybody nowadays with Call of Duties as a lot of people are like, I want old Call of Duty, but you can't really, because you don't want the same game over and over again. So that's what my opinion is on the games so far. I think uh, they did a good thing with Black Ops 3, because it's still very enjoyable, it's fresh, you don't want the same game over and over again. If I wanted the same ga game over and over again, I'm going to go play that game. But this was fresh, and it's, you know, it's really good, and honestly, I rate it. I know, I don't think the other guys do, but what do I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the podcast, and I'll see you guys later. Wow, Saran, what did you think of Black Ops 3? End result, if you had to say right now, cross the line, yes or no? Cross the line. Cross the line. I, I agree as well. I think, I I don't know. I just play that game, and I don't feel like I'm playing the Modern games. Warfare, the, Modern yeah, Warfare yeah, 2, like the uh, Black Like Ops. Call of Duty. When I think Call of Duty, it's like, I want to think of the good, the the good, good old, old days. days. Yeah. And that's... I agree. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. There's a lot going on. There. But let us know if you agree with us once again in the comments section, not that you watched some gameplay and heard us talk about it while exactly. our producer, director editor filmer made an awesome bagel that i'm totally want one of now yeah i want a bagel alex all right we could win a bagel that's right all right anyways on to the next portion which is campaign which i'm not 
very familiar with. I, I'm fairly familiar with the campaign, so I haven't played, like, the most recent ones, like Ghosts and Advanced Warfare, um, but all the ones before that I have, and I gotta say, like, my two favorite, so there's basically two big storylines. Okay, you got... Okay, you go ahead. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say it right now, because... Yeah. I just you need to get it off. Campaign? I did, but I only played campaign if I of didn't Legend of have. Zelda. If I didn't have <laughs> the Legend of Zelda campaign. All right, Ryan. If I didn't have Again, internet, I haven't played Legend of Zelda. If I didn't I have it. internet, that's the only time I would play, uh, like a campaign mode. Because I just other. I'm, I'm a competitive. Fair enough. Player. I don't for, know. For me, I I generally when I get a game, I have to beat the campaign before I can do more. Really? I I'm just one of those guys. All games. I like context. I can't do I it. I love context. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I'm not a story mode guy. I, Let it, that's another question. Are you a are you a, a, a competitive mode, multiplayer a competitive. or are you competitive kind of player? Because there's I'm the word completely different then. Oh yeah. Well, let me tell a little about the campaign. All so right, the two you talk about it. Major ones that come to mind when you think of Call of Duty, like major. There's a lot of other campaign modes that have come out, and like the previous, like one and two, for instance. Uh, even Call of Duty three. And, yeah. But you get the point. The two main ones that everyone is very familiar with is the Modern Warfare one, where it's pretty much you know you're stopping the world from going into World War Three. I actually III do remember that with, one. Yeah, Russia trying to take over the we world. Can, we can we can we can spoiler everything because I mean I'm assuming everyone knows and. Probably well, they're not gonna I, go. I'm not even gonna bother back. spoiling it. I mean, I. I'm but at the end, when you is that the one where you headshot the guy? I'm just curious. Wow, Ryan. Wow, uh, Mr. Editor. I mean, you headshot a guy. That's all I said. <laughs> yeah, let's cut that spoiler out, Mr. Editor. No, but pretty much though. Uh, Who's gonna go back and play Call of Duty right now? <laughs> You go, oh man, I want to play that. But I, I don't want to know what the ending is. Just time, kill the bad time guy. Time travelers? Just making sure we we're on the same like page at least, here. At least one or two of our viewers has to be a time traveler. That's very I mean, fair. statistically speaking, you know. With the, yeah. You know, that. With the amount of time travelers there are nowadays. There's a lot of them. There's a too many of, out there. Too many. But anyway, guys, as we were saying, pretty much there is... He shoots is them right in the head at the very end of the game. <laughs> The Modern Warfare one, <laughs> where you basically have to stop a crazed war criminal from throwing the entire world into World War Three by basically like confusing and convoluting a situation with Russia and the rest of the world. And then finally, you have the other side of things where it takes place back in like the Vietnam era, where you're a you're also a history kind of like oh, you love history, love so history. that's probably another reason why you got into it. Oh yeah, I'm like I especially love history. That's in the past. Yeah. Well, this one's cool, though, and you play a Spec Ops Warrior, and you pretty much do this secret campaign about saving the world by memorizing all these things that you were, I guess, tortured into forgetting? As weird as that sounds? I actually, I do, I remember the beginning of that one, so I do think that uh, I, re like, vaguely remember all these, but I think it's one of those things where I didn't just sit and just play through. Would you play through the whole thing, like, in one sitting, or would you, like... Space it out. How would you do it? I I would try and beat it. So like I wouldn't play multiplayer till I did. So like maybe I'd put five hours in one day and five hours in the next. Gotcha. But I'd make sure it was the first thing I did. Um, but overall, if I had to pick one of them, I, I think Your the Modern campaign. Warfare one. It's, really? It's, yeah. That's the has, one that I. That's the only one I played all the way through. So I mean, I, you could probably agree then. It has a lot of loopholes, but it's still just fun to imagine. It really stretches yeah. the imagination because it's modern it times and it's something that I could literally say. Could Maybe this could happen. happen. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's a good, it's a good storyline. What? Modern Warfare 2's campaign is based in 2016. Really? Yeah. Well, that's interesting wow. enough. So there might be a world war this year. So I hope right? not. I, I, hope, I, I, hope, I hope not too. I hope not because I like this show. But Call of Duty predicted it. I like this show. Don't you guys? Well, I think you just assume we'd die and the show would be on if there was another war. Thanks, Ryan. I'd survive. Do you remember our zombie episode? You know You'd have would, a bike and hey, a katana. But you know what would definitely... I'd be on a damn island. You know what would definitely survive? Your troll pack. Twitter would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twitter... Oh my god, we got bagels! And cream cheese! Wow! Wow. We'll, we'll, we'll save these for the Yeah, we can't show. do anything right now. Thanks. Thanks for teasing us. With bagels. With bagels. Warm, moist, delicious... Bagels. That's ah, what I wanted. Ah, I burned my tongue. I'll still eat that one because it is almost your birthday. And it's got my saliva on it, so that's... Eating. Go wish Jerome a happy birthday. By the time you're watching this, it may have already passed, but go wish him a happy birthday anyways. But now on a Twitter where we're going to pull some questions and answers. So this week, our question is, what was your favorite Call of Duty game? Let us know with hashtag Jerome and Ryan show. With, and... Oh, uh, with at Jerome SF. I don't know armpit. At XRPMX13. Just to add us. At, 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 not add, at. 
Yep, and let us know. But in the meantime, Ryan, I'm going to pull up our question from the prior reek. Uh, prior reek. The, the prior. Re- that, ooh, that, that question reeked. Yeah, but from the prior week, which was, what is your favorite indie game, Ryan? Oh, I'm excited for your answers because here we go. I just saw one. It was, all right, right? Well, you're, you're scrolling so fast. And we have Twitter all loaded up for you guys. And we have your answers from our question. What is your favorite indie game? And you know what's funny? Class Buno over here basically said one of my favorite indie games of all time. He said, I really like the game Castle Miner. I'm not talking about that one. Before I discovered Minecraft. Minecraft was, I mean, an it is indie an indie game. That it is, is an crazy. Indie game. We didn't even really cover that. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. just such a massive game. When you think indie, you think smaller, and we didn't even talk too much about it. I mean, there's no real need That's to. Pretty Everyone crazy. knows yeah. Minecraft. Everyone yeah. knows Minecraft. Um, we have Meme KA or One and Only MK. Uh, who says probably the Binding of Isaac? And That's I've fair. never played it. Have you? No, I haven't played. But it. But I have seen. So I've watched it. And oh I've yeah, seen I it streamed, too. and I've seen you know, and I think That's it's why a I cool don't play game. it because it looks so confusing. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm it. like, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay away. But I'll watch someone play this. Oh, it's game. interesting to see for sure. Uh, we got a few other ones here. Uh, Aguinaldo Gavin says Avatar Legends. I've never heard of that one. I haven't heard of Avatar Legends either. I don't know if that's even. I mean, I'm assuming it is, but, uh, uh, well, thank you, Gavin. Well, here's one that two people answered. Mini Minter Bay and My My underscore 2103 both say Undertale. Don't um, know what Undertale is. With the latter saying Slime Rancher However, well. our executive producer knows what Undertale is. What is Undertale? It's a very popular game, sort of like, you know, Nest from Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, their, their game is Earthbound, so it's an RPG. A role-playing game. Got it. So that is what it is. All right. Next up, we have... um, So many people said Undertale. Undertale Undertale. besides Undertale. We've got to play this Undertale game. Undertale. To the moon. Always and forever. Everyone keeps saying that one, too. To the moon and Undertale. It sounds like two games i got to play. Ooh, I've seen this a couple times on here. So AK Rules YT said, uh, amongst other games... Undertale, Minecraft, The Binding of Isaac. He said Super Meat Boy. And I saw uh, two other people. Oh, say this guy's well. got a very, very intuitive answer. Jalen Majaya. Mine's that one where there's a boss and you have to do stuff. It's totally like legit. Wow, Jalen, that, that's I, that fair. is legit. That, that is, is very, very legit. Fair, Thank you Jaylen. for your input. I appreciate it's people that like one. you who make this show better. Yes. And you know what? Finally, this one's pretty funny. I'm assuming they're talking about who's your daddy, but Seahawk476-2015 says, Dabbing Dad Simulator. Wow. Da- dab it, Dad. Dab it. Dab it. That was, that was, that was the dad dab. That was the dad dab. the real dab. That's the real dab. And then the dad dab is... Because it looks like... It, that's what, you know, that's what asked, his dad would do. That's like, what if I asked my dad, dad to dab it, I'm pretty sure he'd just awkwardly look at the camera and go... Dab it, Dad. Dab Daddy. Well, speaking of Dab Daddies, it's time to get competitive. We well, have... Ryan. What? We never answered formally our own question we proposed this week. Your favorite Call of Duty game right now. I know I know. Well, we weighed we all our options. Well, did. I just... Well, I can't... It's too you gotta hard get to just... Lay it down. Modern Warfare 2. One. Done. Modern Warfare 2. Clock in the answer. You. Modern Warfare 2. All right. There Modern we go. Warfare 2. And right. now, on to the final part of the show, Ryan. Where we're going to do a one versus one death match in World at War. Oh my gosh. I'm this is going to be in this is going to be This is going to be interesting. Oh it's yeah. It's going to be interesting. And the score is you're I'm up by 1 or 2. Mm, like 50, I don't even know. 3. three. Yeah. <laughs> Alex um, is saying 3. I'm up by 3, so Maybe you can pull out a W here, but uh, I doubt it. Okay, so Ryan and I loaded in for the final matchup in some classic World at War, Ryan. Right? Ready for some free throws? Yeah, and it was not easy, guys. So, oh, yeah, uh, definitely not. Yeah, uh, we're doing some free-for-all. What are we going to do? First to X amount of kills? Uh, Yeah, I was thinking, like, one. <laughs> first kill wins? That would be so intense. Nah, we'll do... There's eight minutes left on the clock. Let's do first to ten kills or eight points. Okay, okay, okay. I, all right, I like that. First okay, to okay. Ten, first to wait, how many kills? Uh oh, sorry, 10, 10, 10 kills. Ten kills. Or I eight said minutes. eight points because there was yeah, eight I was minutes like, left. What? <laughs> all right, eight all right, points. All right, here yeah. we go. Are you you're you're in though, right? Yeah, I'm here. Where are you? Oh, I hear you. <laughs> uh, you're popping up on my radar. I heard you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, bro, what oh, are you using? Are you using a rifle? 
Oh! Dang it! Annihilated! I tried to drop shot you too. Alright, that's one. Yeah, but you failed, buddy. You failed! I did fail pretty hard there. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at? That's okay, you're beating me like six million games where to like am one. I? Oh, okay. You're beating this me guy... overall in this tournament anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, that's alright, that's alright. Alright, I'm gonna get on my feet again here in a sec, and uh, you're gonna be dead in a second, so. Oh, is that how that's gonna uh -oh. work? Oh, I did not mean to fire my gun, that was so dumb. Oh, I didn't even notice. You're lucky. Um, I can't go up there. Hmm. Am I, where the hell am I? Ah! I'm in a labyrinth. I'm looking around for you. I'm just sticking towards the middle of the map. Okay, okay. I'm trying to go into the middle of the map. I have to go, like, all the way. Oh, no. I'm on the wrong side. That's why. What do you mean you're on the wrong side? Oh, don't mind me. You're just sticking in the middle of the map, friend. I'll come uh, hunt you down like a lion. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, Mr. Ryan. Did I? Oh, oh what? I did! I did see a putty tat. I did, I did. Okay, Ryan. It's it's on it's now. On. It's so on. It's been on. It's on like that Donkey Kong episode. That Donkey Kong. Okay. Where art thou? El Jerome. Hey, Mr. Ryan. Oh, God. Oh, God. I kind of want to change weapons. As hell. I know, right? This is so anxious. It makes me so anxious. Yeah, I know. This is like... Oh! No! No! Yeah! Alright, what other what other guns do I have? Oh, I have, like, no custom ones. Great. Don't worry, Jerome. I'll just stand right in the middle and wait to kill you. I don't know if I like the sound Hey, Jerome, that. I'm in the middle. I mean you're in the middle. Come find me. <gasps> no! You lied! You were in the middle! Oh, I thought that was the middle. How did I not kill you? I'm pretty sure I shot you right in the dome. Dang it! How did Woo! you not die? Alright, Because right. I cheat. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Oh, Ryan, I cheat. That's how. Oh, whoa. Did you shoot at me? Yes. Oh, oh man! I'm not I so real. I saw you and I was like, I just started shooting and wailing away. I know. You should have waited, man. You should have stalked me like a... Like a barracuda. Like a barracuda, exactly. Wait, like a barracuda, barracuda on steroids. Stop. Oh, I heard you. No, you didn't. <gasps> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, you switched it up. Dang. All right. Dang, Daniel. I'm right. glad I did for that one because that was close range. All right, here we go. Where are you? Oh, God! Oh, shit. Oh my god, dude, I'm freaking out. Hey, Ryan. Ow! Oh, it's super hurt! <laughs> no! <laughs> I baited you out so hard. <laughs> Man, I knew you weren't hurt, but I just figured like you were nearby at least. Oh, I dropped a bow. You dropped a bow on that one, kiddo. Oh. Where are you? Where are you? If you don't, if Young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Ah! Okay, okay, Young Metro. What? Oh, dink! Headshot! Wow, how'd you not kill me? I don't know. I don't know either. I was, I, how the heck did they not? Dang. Dude, this makes me want to play this game again, yeah, just for dude, this like... this is fun. This is a great game. This is so cool. Do you remember when it first came out, too, how much fun it was? Just to, like, it was just so competitive, but fun, and I, it's I don't know. It's still competitive. My heart's racing. I don't know where you are. I'm everywhere, Ryan. I'm everywhere. Hmm. Are you everywhere now? Everywhere and nowhere. Oh, my God. It's scary because we both know the I general know. vicinity where, like, each other are. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. where the hell are you? I saw you and then you disappeared. Oh, I didn't even see you. I just kind of assumed you were around here. Oh god, that's terrifying. Dude, we're, we must be doing like... Circles around each other. Yeah, I would seriously think we are doing circles around each other. Oh, this is too funny. Um... Oh gosh. Oh no! No! Yes! Dude, we had to have been doing so many circles around each other because I literally, literally saw you and then I, I walked all around that middle area. And I was hiding in the uh, in that area the whole time just looking for you. Like inside those, whatever they're called, the trenches. Oh, or... really? Yeah. 
Just they waiting. Go, Where art thou? I'm everywhere. Oh. oh. I got a good... I, I'm in a good area. In a good area. Hmm. That's a giveaway. Oh, God. Lol. 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 No! Mm. How? Yes. You're bad, Ryan. Ow! Lol. Hey, I'm private level one now. Yeah, I just got uh, a, a rank up, too. What new weapons can I get? Oh, yeah, I want to change my weapon after this. Dad, can I get a new weapon? Are you moving? Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Slowly, but surely. Very quickly for me, I'm sprinting. Okay, I'm sprinting now too. There's one minute left, are you kidding me? This is intense as hell. How much did you use to play this game? Because you got the drop shot down to a T. I don't know, I just kind of hit it, it's just instinct. Oh, yes! No! Yes! No, no, no. The lead! The heavy lead! That was heavy. That's gonna do it too, Ryan. Yes! Oh! That was it! No camping! I'm not camping, I was moving! I got a recon plane, Ryan. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so screwed. 50 seconds. Because you're the only guy on the map, so I know where you are at all times. No, you can see me right now? Yeah. Ah! Oh, do you still have your UAV or what? Yeah, I still have it. I was one away from an airstrike there. Oh, come on, Jerome. Come get me. Onward! I'm being fair. I'm being fair about it, Dab Daddy. I'm chasing you. I, no, you are. No, you're being very fair. I just suck, and I'm bad, bad and I'm mad at, my, mad at myself. That oh, was way well. too close there. Oh, man. GG, you win. Oh, you win, fine. you win. Oh, you already got 10 anyways. Oh, uh, look at that. Either way, yeah. Well, either way, Ryan, I mean, you're still winning I, overall. I, did I just hit you at the very last second? Did you really? I didn't see if you did. I just got a hit marker at, like, the last second. I was just, like, firing. Oh, it was a tank. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do. We're back to the podcast. You win. You win. Woo! Yeah, buddy. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us. Drum and Ryan Show. I'm taking it out. I'm salty. I'm salty, man. I can't believe I lost. And I'm sweet. And together we are the Powerpuff. We're not good at coming up with show names or doing outros. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night. And we'll see you next week on the Jerome and Ryan Show. No, we won't. Oh. Yes, we will. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah!